Hello guys, how you doing? It is Adam Wallace and welcome to today's video uh, for Virtual Norwegian. And today's topic is how to align the IRS on a Boeing 737-800 or ND, uh, which is a PMDG 737. And what we're going to go through today is exactly what the title says. Um, and you may find yourself in a cold and dark cockpit like, uh, like you can see on my screen. Um, the reason I've started it in cold and dark is this is when most people are going to come across a line in the IRS for the first time. And this is where they struggle and ask themselves that question. Why do my flight instruments look weird? I'm going to go through that in just a second. But uh, first of all, I think it's important to get a basic understanding um, of what you're learning about. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of information about the IRS, which stands for the Initial Reference System. Um, and what it basically does is it tells the aircraft where it is. Um, and that's important obviously for uh, inputting accurate data into the flight management computers uh, which allows your autopilot systems to work. It also provides information regarding data for your flight instruments, your nav display, your personal flight display and all that good stuff as well. Uh, other than that, that's about all you need to know for the video uh, in terms of background information towards the inertial reference system but we're going to go through and, uh, and set it up right now. Now the first thing you want to establish before setting up the IRS is, um, is aircraft power. You cannot um, align the IRS without um, aircraft power. I don't think battery power is uh, sufficient enough in order to power the, uh, the IRS is up. So from then, you're going to ensure that your parking brake is set. Go into the CDU here. And what we're going to do is get ground power. From then, Make sure your throttles are idle, flaps up, gear down. Parkers, set to park. Your wiper, sorry, set to park. Batteries, donate volts, and ground power. As you can now hear, there is a, I made noise inside the aircraft, and that's what you want to hear. That means there is aircraft power. From then, what I usually do is go straight up to the IRS. Now I'm going to get nice and close to the, uh, to the IRS panel. Sorry about that. Take one, take one. From then, uh, here we see here, which is the IRS panel. It's got IRS display and all that good stuff written on it. And you can see it's got a, a knob here. So I'm going to explain the function of that in just a minute. However, from then, there's a test switch as well. We're going to set that to align. And that's going to go on for around about four seconds. And we'll switch to align. So flick the IRS mode selectors to align. Once they both get to align, and they've both got that white align, Illumination light, flick them to nav. And from then, get uh, this bug here. You can put that all the way. And that tells us that the IRS is going to take six minutes to align. However, that is not the whole thing done just yet. You want to go down um, to your, your, your CDU. So we've got that here. I'm going to click FMC. And from then, you get your ident page. This is a uh, not relevant for this uh, tutorial today. However, position initialization, this is important. You want to enter where you are. So we are at Malga. I forget the stand we're at, it doesn't really matter. So it's say anywhere. Stand 1 4. But now we want to take the GPS coordinates from the left hand side. And we're going to input that into the set IRS position. We are just going to hold short just now. And we are going to wait um, until that GPS uh, latches and longitudes appear. And from then, this is what your uh, your flight displays will look like when, you're, uh, when your cockpit is not aligned. That is what it should look like. So from then, check the GPS. Got the GPS left and right. You can see... They are pretty much exactly the same. Now that is going to differ from Malga's one. Now if we input that in there, we can see that it is different. Uh, the, uh, or it should be somewhat slightly different. It looks the same, but in real life that would be different, that GPS code. So like I said, you go into the GPS left, click on that line select key, and then put it into set IRS position. Now from then, your iOS will begin the alignment process. And if you look, Back up to that IOS, um, IRS panel up here that I showed you guys. 
we can see up here that it's going to take four minutes for the IRS to align. Um, and that is the process to align your IRS. So in four minutes time, um, this is of course if you've got your IRS alignment time set to realistic, that your, um, your IRS will uh, take four minutes and it will be fully aligned. And you'll get those uh, screens as, as such, white displays as you can see in the uh, this instrument uh, quite display here. But other than that, that is the video, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Hope it was nice and clear. I wanted to keep this nice and short just to keep it as simple as possible. There's no point in trying to overcomplicate anything. But other than that, I've got nothing else for you. Hope you've all had a fantastic day, and I hope this video was much useful. If you've got any further questions, be sure to ask them in the comments. From myself, Adam Wallace, uh, enjoy your day, and, uh, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much.